Hi there, my name is Harry Osborne and I'm a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find outliers using a control chart and standard deviations. A control chart will allow you to select outliers using standard deviations. These will be changeable through a parameter action that we will also include. Let's jump right into Tableau and get started. Control charts use standard deviations to show values outside of the normal expected ranges. The expected range is visible here between the two dotted lines and in the grey space. Those outside are highlighted as outliers in orange, whilst those within are highlighted as blue and in range. Let's move over to a new workbook and build this out. Firstly, we're going to drag order date onto columns by right clicking and dragging and selecting month, continuous and then bring sales onto the rows. Next, we're going to create a parameter. We're going to call this number of standard deviations, or SDs for short. We can keep this as a float with a current value of 1, but then select range, leave the minimum as 1, and select the maximum to be 3. This is a regular number of standard deviations present within a data set and used for analysis of outliers. Keep the step size as 1 and select OK. You can then click the carrot on this parameter and show it on the right hand side. Next we're going to create a calculated field. This first one we're going to call our upper bound. It is written as following. The window average sum of sales which you can drag in from your view plus and open bracket your parameter number of standard deviations which you can drag in as well multiplied by the window standard deviation of sum of sales that you can also drag in if you want to then close brackets in effect this calculation is the window average so the average in your view of all the sum of sales marks plus the number of standard deviations specified in your parameter in the top right multiplied by the window standard deviation of that sum of sales value. The standard deviation is a quantity that expresses how much the members of a group differ from the mean values in that group. Therefore it will show the outliers within your data for sum of sales. Once you've done that, click OK and then duplicate that same field open up the copy, change the name to lower bound and change the plus to a minus and click OK. We have now created the upper and lower bound for our standard deviation levels. Once you've built these two fields select both upper and lower bound and drop them on the detail shelf. Now to build our dynamic band we're going to go into the analytics pane, drag on our reference band and drop it on the table sum of sales. In here we can select where the band goes from and to and we want to use the lower bound and the upper bound. I'm going to turn off labels for both of these, select a dotted line and change the fill colour to slightly lighter then I'm going to click OK. Now we have banding that shows us both the standard deviation one above and one below the window average sum of sales in this data set. We can also change the width of this band by typing a different number in here. The next step is to create a colour equation to colour code those that lie inside or outliers outside. Again I'm going to go up to create a calculated field and create a field named outliers. In here the calculation shall be if the sum of sales is greater than the upper bound or the sum of sales is lower than the lower bound then outlier else 
in bounds. End. This calculation is effectively looking for it at each data point and saying if the sum of sales are greater than the upper bound or lower than the lower bound, i.e. outside either area of the grey, then they are outliers, else if they fall within that grey band, they are inbounds. The final steps are to control and click sum of sales to duplicate it in the window. Click on the carrot and select dual axis. Synchronize one of the axes and hide the axis on the right. Then if I head to the second sum of sales marks card, change it from a line to a circle. I can drop the outliers calculation that we just made onto color and it will color code those as outside in orange and those within bounds in blue. Furthermore, if I was to change the number of standard deviations in the pane, those colors would change as such, effectively showing you your outliers without requiring you to do manual calculations on the standard deviations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in finding outliers inside Tableau using control charts. If you found this video helpful, click the thumbnail at the top to watch our latest video or click the thumbnail at the bottom to watch my last video in this series looking at moving average lines.